Hey guys, TechnoVenture here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to find the IMEI number of an iPhone. So in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about what is the IMEI number and what that means and how to get it from your iPhone in a couple of different ways that should help you if you're looking to identify and get that number off your iPhone. But before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news, reviews, and giveaways. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are looking to buy a discounted iPhone and looking to upgrade, make sure you guys check out the link in the description section. So let's go ahead and get started with how to find the IME number of your iPhone. So what is a IMEI number? It's a unique number that identifies a, a phone. Basically, it's a very special number that belongs to a specific device that allows uh, carriers to assign numbers. It's to be recognized in multiple systems and applications as well. So pretty much each device will have its unique own IMEI number and that number is a 15 digit number which you can do to check if a phone is blacklisted, if the iCloud is on and much more things like if it's locked to a carrier so that's why you'll need it and it's generally a thing that will be requested or you need to kind of request to check whenever you are looking to buy a phone or if someone's buying off the phone from you they'll probably ask for it. So let's show you guys the first and the most simple way to get that IMEI number is going into settings and once you're in settings you're going to go to general and then once you're in general you're going to go to about and all the way below midway in the bottom half you'll see that number there's a IMEI number as you see this is a 15 digit number this is the physical number there's also a digital one as you can see here most of the time physical is your primary one that's the one that you will need if you're using a physical SIM card. But if you're using an e-SIM card or a digital SIM card, you're going to want to use the second one. So that's how carriers can activate phone service on your phone without actually requiring the physical SIM card. They can attach that phone device with this one and you won't need to put a SIM card in here. And what the IME number does is once it's in a system on a carrier or a company, now you're able to get phone service. And some carriers require that you give them the IME number to get phone service. So that's the first and most simple method uh, to get the IMEI number. The second method that you can do is if you have an iPhone 6 or older, you're going to see that number printed on the back. As you can see, I have a 10S, 10, iPhone 10S here and a 10s max here and the number isn't actually written on this one it's that's because it's somewhere else we'll show you guys but if you have an iphone 6 or older device you'll see it right on the back it's a 15 digit number it'll start with i i mean i and then colon and then that 15 digit number but if you have a newer device that iphone 6 or above it's actually moved inside the sim tray so what you need to do is get a sim ejector tool or if you have a paper clip or a earring like that it also works is that you want to pop that sim card tray out so once you pop that out and then take that off and let's leave the phone here you'll notice that there is that same exact number that we saw in the setting right here so that's the 15 digit number and it will be like we mentioned on any iPhone 6 or above or newer the phone it you'll see that number printed in very small Print, print. So that's how you get the number if the phone isn't on or you can't get the f phone to turn on. But what if you don't have access to the phone and the phone has been already reset or if it's an iCloud lock phone, how can you get that? Well, as you can see, this phone is factory reset. This is how the phone would be whenever you get a new phone. You get to this screen and you have to do a lot of the other stuff to set it up but if it's an iCloud lock phone most likely you won't be able to get into the device without the original person's password but you still want to do other checks right you can actually get it from this screen as well by clicking on that i icon that you see on the bottom right hand corner if you click on that i number as you can see here all of this display information is there from your serial number and then the IME number of it right here. So that's the number right there. So we didn't even have to set up the phone to get it. We just click on that I. So if you do that, you simply want to power it on and you'll see that I. Click on that I and get all that information you need. Most of the time, like I said, the IMEI number will be right there ready to go good for you to 
get it. So the last method we want to show you guys, what if, you know, you had no way to turn on the phone, no way to get in, the SIM card tray was missing. Well, there's actually a tool that might be able to help you. And it's a free tool and it's for uh, Windows right now. There is no Mac support, unfortunately. It's called 3U Tools if you want to download it on your desktop. PC desktop. It's a free tool. A lot of people use it. Once you do that, you want to hook up your iPhone using a data sync cable. And once you have done that, you'll notice if you look at images here, you're going to, once you plug it in, you're going to get to pretty much a screen like this one right here where it tells you a lot of information about the phone. You can get uh, the same thing here. The IME number should show up and you'll be good to go. So so that's pretty much, uh, you know, the multiple ways you can do it. Go through settings. If you have it printed on the back or if you have a SIM card tray, get it from the SIM card. And if you reset it like this phone we have here, you can just simply click on the eye icon or use a tool like 3U Tools to get it. So hopefully that was the video was helpful in terms of how to get the IMEI number off your iPhone. If you ever... Um, a tip around you know giving out that number is that if you're not feeling comfortable with it or if you're dealing with someone shady you might not want to give that number because it's a unique number associated with the device and there might be ways to do malicious stuff with it so stay kind of safe from that but you know in certain cases if you're selling the phone a buyer or the seller if you're looking to trade it and we'll ask for it so hopefully this video is helpful if this video is helpful please make sure to hit that like button subscribe button and of course stay tuned for future videos thanks for watching guys see you guys next time